What's up, guys? Welcome back. Another day in the life with your boy. Let's cook some eggs. Don't have any olive oil, so we're gonna take about a year off of our lifespan with this spray-on vegetable oil. That's healthy. Drinking actual milk straight out of a cow's tit. No pasturation, no homogenizing. Homogenization. Homogenizing. Homogenation. There's no homo shit. 100% natural nipple juice. By the way, I absolutely hate the flavor of eggs still. It tastes like what they smell. Farts. Just a really good source of fatty acids and proteins. It's the only reason I eat them. Mm. We'll also have a bowl of cereal. Only the best, baby girl. Doing this actually makes eggs edible for me. Mm. Yummy. Oh, you suck. I'll let them cook a little bit longer. They're a tad slimy. It's like eating fucking snot and boogers, man. Remember, when in doubt, pinky out. Yeah. Oh yeah, we didn't even talk about what the fuck we're doing in today's video. So today, most people that watch my channel today came from like the golden era of my channel which perhaps someday may not be the case but as for right now was the golden era of my channel and yeah all that started when i was 18 first day after graduating high school i moved into my own place called the trailer 225 dollars a month rent mold spores growing on the ceiling holes in the floor so today after i go to the gym I wanted to go out there where I used to live, and just look at the trailer. Wouldn't that be badass? For old time's sake, why not just go ahead and relapse on smokeless tobacco while we're at it? No, Kenny, no, you're better than the can, man. You're better than it. Shut up! <laughs> Baby. Fuck. I hope the top comment is about how disappointed y'all are in me. You know, why don't we just start the video out with the subject for once? By the way, gas. Put some of that shit on. Every girl in the tri-state's gonna be trying to find out where you live. Our old six hoes down. We're being a daddy's money bum lately. Driving daddy's truck. Red line wang in it. No, hell no. I no way I'd do that shit. Heading out to the trailer. They're like, what are you doing here? I'm like, yeah, I used to live here back in 2018, 2019. Wanted to come check out the thing. Oh, so you're that meth head boy, huh? Then it just turns into a boss battle fight. She hops on her zero turn. She's chasing me. If you didn't know, back in that trailer, my old landlords accused me of being a meth head slash meth dealer. I think it was because they were old. They didn't really understand the concept of not having to get up and go to work every day to make money. Of course, I was doing YouTube at the time, so I was at the house most of the time, and I always had friends coming in and out through a few shindigs now and then. So I guess they just assumed all the traffic, me not leaving the house a lot, they're like, oh yeah, this guy's a drug dealer. Who'd have cops sitting on the road watching me, pulling me over all the time and shit. I just made a big joke of the whole situation. And the funny thing was, like, they used to have a meth head that lived in the trailer, and nobody can tell me he wasn't on meth. Water damage on the ceiling, walls, and floor. You have to be on meth to power wash your fucking house. I don't care what anybody says. We gotta go to the gym before we head out there. Perhaps the chesticle pump may intimidate the old fucker. Now, I don't even want to be talking about them like that. They might be long gone or something. Make me feel bad. No hard feelings. Sure, when you get old, life gets boring. Find any way you can to entertain yourself. Especially living five feet away from a parkway, I'm sure it wasn't too beneficial to their mental health. It was a shitty trailer that was literally almost kissing the parkway. Semis would go by with their Jake break scare me in the middle of the night. Rattle the whole house. Pictures would be falling down off the walls. But eventually, after a while, I just convinced myself that the shh, 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 closed my eyes and imagined I was sitting on a beach and I was on oceanfront property. That helped me fall asleep. We're gonna go check it out. I don't even know if y'all are gonna be able to hear me. The parkway's so loud out there. Oh, buddy. We're literally right by the old trailer, man. <laughs> y'all nervous? I don't know if they would recognize me or not because I'm older now. I do know that he was saying that next door to that trailer is gonna have some of his family move in there. And like, if their family calls them, they're like, hey, there's a slightly above average deranged male outside talking to himself. I think he has a camera on a stick. They'll know exactly who it is. There could be some big drama going on if I pull up here, man. Y'all don't get it, dude. I don't know if a lot of y'all saw that video of them pulling up on me when I was moving out. Their whole family pulled up. They was like trashing me. Like, did you see this video about the mosquito bite on his little dick? And me being me, I replied, you want to see my cock? And then my dad's like, son, son, no. Yeah, call small again. See, that 
That's the amount of respect your son has. Just call my cock little, man. You wanna see it? Just so much shit. Y'all gotta watch those videos. I'm moving out or something. Sure, me with a plaid and khakis and I'm sitting outside talking about the whole situation. It's like 27 minutes. And then there's a video after that. Crazy landlord tries to run me over with a mower. Y'all get more insight on what I'm talking about. Oh, buddy, I really probably shouldn't be doing this. But fuck it. Oh. It's for the, all the OG nibbas out there. And then there's that person right there that I rolled coal on. They told me to shoot him. He was real drunk one night. Hey, buddy. Hey, Bobby. Oh, I really shouldn't do that. There's people there. Are they outside? Oh, y'all are going to be sad about this. I'm still going to pull up, though. It's gone. The trailer's gone, bro. A little gravel patch of what once was. R.I.P. Really hope they don't call the cops on me. The old spot of what once was, where it all started. There it is, folks. Don't y'all just want to cry? It's gone forever. Where I used to walk in. This is where Outdoor Bastard used to live. Dang, bro. Y'all even hear the parkway? Why is there a 35 mile an hour speed limit curve sign up there? Oh, it's so sad. Let's get a RIP in the chat. There it is, guys. Bobby hasn't came outside yet. I don't see a zero turn charging my way. There's the pond right there, stocked full of catfish that they never let me fish. And the mailbox is gone. <laughs> well, we got to get out of here, bros. One more thing. If y'all ever see this truck in public, it'll be my dad driving it. It's a maroon Chevy. It says USA One. If y'all see it driving, honk and wave. Hey, what's up? Hey. I think it would be funny. Just randomly like, why are all these people saying hi to me? Oh, rip. Bobby! I guess it got torn down, folks. I knew that fucking thing was livable. Didn't have to sign a lease agreement or no. Oh, oh, shit. I literally had a cabinet. I would open it, I would look up, and sunlight would come through. Woke up with a possum in my bed. Slept on the couch the rest of my time living there after that. No way anybody would reside at that place after me. And I wasn't about to sit there and fix that shit up. Hell no. I'm paying rent to live there. I think it's funny where I bought that new stove. It was like way too fancy for that trailer. And top comment was like, Kenny buys new stove. Landlord raises rent because upgrades. I could honestly say that the only person who would be willing to live in deplorable conditions like that would probably be somebody on meth. So that's probably why they assumed. Wish I had some fishing poles. It's kind of warm today. Stop somewhere we'd cast out. Can't wait till it warms up. We'll start going bow fishing, fishing a lot more. Get back to the house and we will definitely find something something to do finally radiator has came in dog all right we got an all aluminum one this time the top's the same this one's a lot lighter and our quick connects take them off this one and put it on that one hopefully the threads line up doing a lot of research and a lot of people if they mess up on these they'll accidentally break this little nipple off this one's made of metal so never got to think about that problem ever again pretty cool oh well nope we got to get a new one now Really hope it lines up. Please excuse the greasy hair. I haven't showered since yesterday morning. Push her in now. Slide this fan shroud in without ripping the fan wire off. Bolt this hoe up. Everything's bolted up. Just gotta tighten it now. Put the hose is up. Fill it with coolant. And then we're gonna find out if we wasted $400 or not. Cause there was some underlying tranny issues, but I haven't been able to take it on a long drive to test it to see if I fixed it because my radiator spontaneously busted after I got done working on the tranny. But I would like to ask my lovely assistant if she would uh, film something for me. <laughs> I just gotta take these things off to put on the new one. That's scary. I'm gonna get a wrench. Get on there. I just remembered, I put the hose on and I didn't take that off up top. What a retard. Imagine I just hooked everything up and I was like, why ain't it working? All right, let's see if I'm a piss poor mechanic or not. Let's see if I left this plastic on. What's your vote? Is it still on there? Wow. Hey, dang. See guys, this is why self-confidence matters the most. Life lesson. Bit of God's natural lubricant. Look how easy it slides in now. Don't ask why there's rotten pumpkins in here. I haven't drove it in a while, okay? I haven't had a chance to dump it. Max out my credit card. 
to get some coolant for a this thing drives. <laughs> You're just gonna watch me change, get butt naked. I can't switch up on my homies. I don't ever change clothes. I don't even wipe my ass. I don't let shit bother me. No, y'all can't see. That's for the OF. Look at this clean ass house though. Perhaps a little bit of female attention going on in here, huh? Unless you're just trans and you're trolling me. Whoa. You're just actually gonna record me changing? How do I turn it on? Look at my undies, bruh. Black cheetah print with some drills on it. They ain't Milwaukee dough. Kinda mid. All right, they can't see my bulge. Cut it off. All right, we're throwing coolant in it, folks. Get that Super Tech special. Moment of truth. See if we're gonna get pissed off or not. Are you ready for it? Truly tickled to death. All right, let's check the tranny fluid. See if it's still looking cool. Perfect. But obviously, still problems with it. Brand new problem just popped up. P0300. Random multiple cylinder misfire detected. This never ends, man. Let me flex to you. If any shop ever would have diagnosed this tranny, they would have quoted me a brand new transmission. Pull the trans pan off. There's clutch debris and metal all in the filter, clogged up, litter all in the pan. They're just gonna say you need a new tranny. But instead of doing that, put fluid in it, let it run around, drain that fluid out, and then put more fluid in it. It's like it got all the metal out. Put a new filter in it externally and internally. Took apart every solenoid, cleaned it out, put it back together. She's been driving perfectly fine ever since. Nothing wrong with the trans temp. We've been watching it. Like the two codes I've had pull up on that tranny, Every forum I read basically said you need a new tranny. 95% chance I needed a new transmission, but hey, get lucky sometimes, man. Nasty bad luck streak we just got out of. I think it's time we have some good luck. I know a lot of y'all are tell are hating, telling me to just sell it, give up. Dude, it sounds so fucking cool going down the road. Sounds like a jet flying down the road. I'm auditorily autistic when it comes to truck noise. I don't care how fast it is or if it's a piece of crap. If it sounds cool, I wanna drive it. Wanna fight about it? Hell yeah. I don't have to buy a $3,500 transmission. Huge W. W in the chat, please. Speaking of chat, um, probably gonna stream tonight. Perhaps a dry scoop of pre-workout or two. Live. I don't know why my microphone's so damn quiet. Oh, sorry if the audio sucks on this video.